At one time, they littered Dallas streets, even dumped in the Trinity River. If you're wondering where all those rental bikes have gone, tonight we know. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jason Whiteley in for Marie Saavedra. It was this image that made our jaws drop today. Yellow rental bikes piled high at a Dallas scrapyard. David Goins is live tonight. David, tell us the story behind that photo and whether these bikes are gone for good. Yeah, Jason, just as quickly as all those bikes made their way into Dallas tonight, it's a lot harder to find one of those rental bikes really anywhere in downtown. And if you do find one, it's certainly a little more lonely with not a lot of company. Tonight, there are questions about how these excess bikes now are being handled. In the quest for Sunday evening entertainment, Joanne Flores and her family walked up on Dallas's newest craze to get around. I'm trying to unlock it. I have to put in my credit card information. It's the first time she's ever tried a different way to get around downtown. I've personally never tried the bikes. And perhaps that's why the rental bikes, once numbering more than 20,000 in Dallas, are now around 3,000, according to the city. So where do all those bikes end up? Well, for Chinese operator Ofo, you can see hundreds of their bright yellow bikes are piled high and sold for scrap at a recycling business in the Cedars, just outside downtown. Council members we talked to say OFO never gave a heads up to the city what they plan to do with their bikes. Still, Council Member Lee Kleinman telling News 8, I'm glad OFO kept their promise to remove the bikes and not leave it to the city to clean up. But in a widely shared Facebook post, there are questions about that bike rental graveyard with the post reading, check out the bike share program now. What a waste. One commenter added, I'm speechless. This is an outrage and agreed they should have donated them. OFO told us they are, saying as we wind down select markets, we remain committed to environmental sustainability and will continue to donate OFO bikes in good working condition to local communities and recycle all bikes when they're beyond repair or no longer able to use. That's what they say is happening in Dallas and that bikes have already been donated to City Square, which helps fight poverty. So just months after rental bikes ran all over the downtown landscape and beyond. I'll stick with the scooters. Joanne Flores says she's found her way to get around downtown. Death to the bikes, finally. <laughs> all right, so OFO is out, but still Lime, which has those scooters, has about 3,000 bikes. And V-Bikes, which is in Garland, says they're still committed to the bike rental model, so it may not be gone just yet. But OFO is gone. Riding out in Dallas tonight, David Goins, Channel 8 News. All right, David, thanks a lot. Interesting.